everybody, Gina DeLuca here. All right, so today I have a 20 by 20 canvas and I am going to be doing my favorite, a straight pour. My base color is the Arteza Bordeaux Red. I love this color. It is so luscious, so rich, just a beautiful, beautiful red. And if you have white in your painting and it makes it pink, it's not like a cotton candy pink. It's like a nice, rich pink. So I really love this color. And for my cell makers, ooh, I have the Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics in Garnet, which you'll notice is a very similar shade to the uh, Bordeaux Red. And also, if that mixes with like a silver, the the pink that it makes is a very rich pink. Um, I like in, in straight pours a lot of times where I have a cell maker in a metallic that is very similar to my background color. So sometimes you'll see me do that with purple. And then the first, I'll have my dioxazine purple background. And the first color that I put in will be the amethyst. And it just looks like it, the cells are bubbling up out of that color. And it's, you know, because it's a similar color, it just has a really cool effect. And the other colors I'll be using is the 24 karat gold, bronze, and the uh, rose gold. Well, that's what that was. These paints have been mixed one part paint to two parts Floetrol. And that mixture is then thinned to the proper consistency with my concoction of 90% water, 10% Floetrol. And the consistency that we're going with today. It is about a two, maybe a one and a three quarters. <laughs> It is making a slight mound and it disappears rather quickly. Before we get started, have you seen the Fluid Art Inspiration Cards? If you have, you can fast forward about a minute, but if you have not, what we have are 52 cards. There are 42 technique cards. Each technique card has an associated video here on the YouTube. That is the picture of that particular video. This little box has some tips for that particular technique. You have a color palette here at the bottom. And then these two boxes can be used together as the basis of a two color palette, or you can build off of those two colors. Sometimes it's a nice challenge to keep it simple. There are also eight bonus color palette cards. Each one has five color palettes. Use some of the colors, use all of the colors. Mix and match the color palettes with the techniques and you have a bazillion combinations, probably more combinations than anyone could uh, pull off in a lifetime. <laughs> and these are available at my website, ginadeluca.net and also at Amazon. They are now available on Amazon, so you can find them there. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is put a bit of my red in my cup just to make sure I know I'll have enough, but it is a habit that I've gotten into because I've put down my base coat before and then wound up with uh, not enough paint for my background. So we'll just make sure. And then for the base coat, And you'll see I've already painted my edges uh, straight pores are mixed pretty thin so I just like to make sure that my sides have full coverage that no canvas shows through and this Bordeaux red unlike most reds is actually an opaque 
The majority of reds are not opaque. Another opaque would be Liquitex Basics Cadmium Red Deep Hue is an opaque. So that is another one that I like to use for straight pours. All right, my base coat is down and now I'm gonna put some paint in a cup. All right, I want these colors to blend so I'm gonna pour from up high. So I did garnet, now I'm doing the gold. And then the rose gold. And top it off with the bronze. This is going to be a very full cup. Okay, now this cup is setting up perfectly. All of that base color pushed to the top and my cell makers kind of stayed below. So that's what you want. You see these cells popping up already. Oh, I think this might be a good one. Fingers crossed, y'all. Already getting those cool 3D cells. Check that out. Woo. Okay, let's make a mess, shall we? getting closer as I get towards the end of the cup. Okay. Now I'm gonna pop the bubbles. Lots of bubbles are created with this technique. Just because you're pouring from so high, the paints are churning, the air is getting mixed in there. Important not to get too close to the paint. You don't want to scorch it. On these bigger pieces, sometimes it's good to let them sit because you start to get a ton of cells before you even tilt. But the more you stretch, the more cells you get. As that top layer gets stretched, the other paints underneath have an opportunity to pop through. You can see these are already starting. This is going to be a really pretty painting. I can already tell. Sometimes you can just tell in the cup. All right, I'm going to get this stretching. I'm going to go this way first because I think I'm going to want to really accentuate the pop-up cells in this one. Tilting slowly is your friend, especially on these big canvases. Well, I probably should have used a corner catcher and I would have kept my center Say la vie. I think it's going to be pretty anyway. I think I will come this way next. Remember to bring the weight of your paint 
back to center. What am I seeing there? Is it a bubble? Is it schmutz? Appears to be schmutz. Look at that. First shot. Like a surgeon. Okay. Oh, I was coming this way, wasn't I? And I know you might be thinking, oh no, the cells are going to get tilted off. Believe me, it will make more. The more I move this about, the more I stretch it, the more cells will appear. Okay. The weight of your paint is where your paint is moving the fastest, basically. And you want to be mindful of that because you can really control the flow of your paint if you pay attention to that. Oh, this one's going to be a stunner. You can see you can almost make a corner if you are very mindful. Of your where the weight of your paint is. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I am already super, super happy with this. The cells, the bolder cells are flipping amazing. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, I've had a few duds <laughs> in a row, so I'm really, really happy with this one. And as you can see, more cells are going to be popping up. There probably won't be a whole lot of that Bordeaux showing. Because these paints are super, super cell makers. But you will see, you will see it, uh, like the lacing aspect of it in between lines. Gives it that nice background. Hopefully I'll get to keep a little bit of this. We'll see what happens. But I have a feeling this thing is going to be like so crazy. But uh, I am going to let this sit and do what it do. And I will bring you in for a close up. Back in a few. Okay, here it is. I don't think this will be changing anymore. It's been sitting for a couple of hours. The edges have started to dry. I did get to keep some of that red background. So I have that beautiful contrast right there. And these metallics make the uh, camera go nuts. Lots of 3D boulder cells going on here. Very, very happy with this piece. The blending of the garnet and the rose gold and the gold, which is really beautiful. See if I can get that color back. There we go. When those metallic paints blend, 
and make those cells. It just appears so 3D, gives it so much depth. Yeah, definitely happy with this one. I uh, hope you learned something I did that the Bordeaux makes a fantastic background color for a straight pour. It really is a beautiful color and great cell action. Uh, if you learned something, if you enjoyed, please do help me out with that YouTube algorithm by liking and sharing and subscribing and commenting and all of the things that the bots look for to deem my worthiness to show up in your news feed or your YouTube feed. And check out the description box below for links to my PayPal tip jar if you feel so inclined. And my affiliate links, there is an Arteza link, which you can find that Bordeaux. And there's a Blick link where you can find the DecoArt Metallics and also Amazon where you can find both of those and my Fluid Art Inspiration cards as well. And I receive a small commission when you use those links at no additional cost to you. So if you're gonna be shopping anyway, please do use the links. Also in the description box, you will find the link to my website, ginadeluca.net, where you can find my art and music and fluid art inspiration cards for sale. And also you will find the link to our Facebook group. Go make some art, join us there, post your masterpieces, ask your questions, get some inspiration. Hope you join us there. And uh, yeah, I think that's gonna be it for today. Thank you all for hanging out. I hope you have a beautiful day. Now go make some art.